hope you're all okay welcome back to my channel i feel like it has been no no it actually has been the longest time since i have filmed a sit down haul video i've done a few vlogs when i was away um but i'm very much back in the swing of things now i apologize for the lack of hauls and everything um i've just been on my holidays um basically that were rolled over from the past few years so i've had a really really good few months um but i'm now well and truly back with the haul videos home videos all the kinds of videos that i basically was doing every week um so yeah i've had a bit of a unintentional break i guess you could say so today i'm back with a huge primark haul when i say huge i mean i hadn't been in there for the longest time and i got very carried away but i feel like i've got so many goodies to show you I'm very excited, I feel like it's one of the best Primark calls I've done. I think it's a lot of summer clothes, um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna jump straight in. If you do enjoy this video, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment below what you thought, and I'm gonna jump straight in. Okay, so first up, you may remember um, if you follow me on TikTok or on Instagram that I treated myself to some new trainers for Christmas. I treated myself to some Axel Arigato trainers, um, and... I've literally found the biggest dupe ever in Primark. So these ones are £12. I literally had jeans on that covered like most of the trainer when I bought these. And my best friend Amber was like, they literally look identical to the axles. So these are the dupes, as you can see here. These are £12. Honestly, I cannot believe how, how similar they are at literally like not even a quarter of the price so the axles are about 220 i think um <laughs> it's ridiculous these are so nice they look like they're going to be really comfy i just feel like they're i wanted like a cheaper alternative because i feel like i've started to get them really dirty now and obviously i'm definitely getting my use out of them still but these are good for like i don't know axles on a budget basically that's what i'm going to call them i really really like these be quick because i have a feeling these aren't going to be around for long but as i say they were 12 pounds and they're literally one of my favourite items. I was so excited to show you. Okay, so next up, you know I love a good co-ord set. I'm so excited that they've got these in there. They're just like the Zara ones, but again, cheaper. So the tops are £3.50. So I got this black one here. It's kind of like a stretched ribbed material. I got this in a size 10 to 12. You know what I'm like, and black is kind of like my go-to. And then I also got them in the cycling shorts, again, size 10 to 12 for £3.50. Now, normally in cycling shorts, I go down to an extra small, but one of my friends that was with us um, when I bought them, I bought all this in the Liverpool shop, by the way, um, she said they come up quite small. So I got a 10 to 12, and I'm glad I did, because I definitely would not have got into a size 6 to 8. So, as you can see, they are here. Um, I quite like them with the top folded under a little bit i don't know if it's wearing many five foot two but i think it looks better when there's a little bit of a gap but i thought this would be really cute either on its own or with like a shirt over the top a certain shirt that i'm going to show you in a minute so you've got a whole new outfit there for seven pounds they've got them in loads of different colors i also got it in blue which i love so the blue has actually got a different style top. It's more of like a racer style tee, £3.50 and again, so small. Same material, but that one's more of like a racer style as opposed to like the little crop tee. And the shorts, again, I got in a size 10 to 12 and again, £3.50. This would look really cute with some white trainers and either a shirt over the top or just on its own. The black one, you could also wear this crop like with another outfit if you wanted to big lump of fluff on that we love that um so yeah i think that there's i don't know mix and match different colors they've got a really nice like coral color um green can't remember what else but yeah i got two of those because i just feel like for the remainder of summer and even into september i'm gonna live in them okay so next up let me just tell you i was so excited when i picked these up i was so excited to share them with you um <clears throat> And I'll explain what happened in a minute. So this is the top. So I got this in a size 10 for £13. Really nice printed like stone and black coloured little blouse. Shirt, whatever you want to call it. So my idea with this was to wear this with a bikini underneath. So of course I picked up the matching trousers. I thought this is going to be such a look like I can't wait to show you. Picked up these in what said on the tag was a size 10. But they're actually a size 14 so i'm lucky i can still fit them so i'm quite lucky in the fact that i can still show you in the try on i've just got to hold them a little bit from behind but i'm gutted because 
they don't have these in my local branch um, and the Liverpool store was a lot bigger so I'm not going to be able to get my hands on the trousers which is a real pain because um, I feel like on holiday um, with like a nice black bikini top it was going to look so cute so again day or night so these were £13 um, and to be honest I feel like the sizing might be a bit small on this because the 14 actually fitted me again okay albeit a tiny bit baggy around the waist but um yeah 10 might have actually been too small but perfect beach co-ord holiday co-ord like I don't know I was so excited to wear this not that I've got another holiday book but I just thought with like a black bikini top um it would look really nice so my mission is to hunt down these trousers really lightweight material not see-through or anything so yeah, I was very excited, but we had a little bit of drama in that the tag was obviously um, put on the wrong one, but it's fine, uh, these things happen. Okay, next up, I picked up an oversized shirt, aka one that I could wear with the black set. I really, really like this. This one I got in a size 14 for £15. This is like a linen material, um, which is probably why it was a little bit more than your average like oversized shirt um, in Primark. It does say it contains linen, it's a regular fit, which is why I sized up. I just thought this would look nice with the little co set, chuck it on, even with a, like one like this, like a white bralette and some denim shorts or something, jeans, um, easy to chuck on. Again, they've got this in green, they've got it in yellow. They didn't have it in my in the store that I went to in like a stone colour, which is what I'd have loved. Because I've seen one in Zara that I love, but I don't want to, um, I haven't like committed to buying it yet. Um, but yeah, this is a nice bright colour, so I thought with the black set it would look quite cute. Pair it with a pair of sunnies. Easy chuck on go to look. Okay, another little summary item. I absolutely love these. So I got these trousers in a size 10 for £13. So they're kind of like flared trousers. Here's the bottom, as you can see. I literally love these. Now, in the shop, they had a matching top. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want the matching top. I thought I had a green top at home here that would go with them. Turns out that that top has actually got a pattern all over it and completely clashes with this. So in the try-on, I've just paired it with this little bralette. Now, I wouldn't actually wear it out with that. I'm going to try and find, like, a nice coloured top that will go with it because I just think it would really look really nice for the, like the rest of summer um nice lunch or something um and they fit really nice they are quite thin but I don't feel like they're see-through so it's kind of like because of the pattern and everything as well you can kind of get away with it so like I say 13 pounds and I got them in a size 10 and the matching top was kind of like I think it was a halter neck one which is why I was a bit unsure because I don't really tend to wear like too many halter neck tops depending on what the cut's like around my shoulders don't ask me why, I won't bore you with that. But yeah, these are really nice. They also had like some pastely pink ones. Um, kind of like little clouds on, that's the best way I can describe it. You've probably seen them. Okay, I then got my hands on these cargo style trousers, as you can see here. So I got these ones in a size 10. They've got the pockets along, hang on a second, along the side as you can see there. I got these in a size 10 for £17. They are quite thin, but I quite like them. Um, and yeah, just kind of like casual to chuck on with some trainers, but if you want to wear them with heels, you can do. I then also picked up basically the same pair, but without like the chainy detail or the buckle detail. So these are like a more softer material. The only way I can really describe these is kind of like the old school trousers that we used to wear. Um, kind of like that thin work trouser, school trouser material. So these ones were £15, so a few pounds cheaper. Again, they have got the pockets at the side as you can see here and then the ankle is just normal um so again they've just got a zip and a button I do really like both as you can see I just feel like they're quite handy to have they go with everything be it bodysuit crop top bralette whatever um and I know that they were so <laughs> there were so many people trying to get their hands on them I was actually really lucky that I got the last two size tens um I don't know, it must have been my lucky day. But they've also got them in like a khaki colour, but it was more of like a brownie green, so it wasn't for me, but um, I know that some people do like that colour, so keep an eye out for those. Okay, next up, I picked up a cute little summery blouse. Let me just pop this bit on, otherwise it's gonna look strange. Okay, really neutral, tie detail top, kind of giving me Zara or Mango vibes. This was £13. Oh, it says matching items available, but I didn't see what that was. I got it in a size 10, and you can, like, pull this little bit tighter, as you can see here. So I just thought this would look really cute, even with, like, a white or a cream bikini top underneath and some shorts. 
or just pair it with jeans. So I got this one in a 10. Um, and I've just paired it with these shorts, as you will see. Now, I don't know if I'd actually wear it with those, but I thought maybe like over the top of a bikini if you're on holiday or something, or you're just at the beach or something, um, chuck it on. So these shorts were £8, and I got them in a 10. Uh, they've got like the drawstring waist, as you can see, and that really nice taupe colour. So I have paired these together. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I definitely, definitely wear them together, but I just thought if you've got like a nice neutral coloured bikini on, chuck the top on, chuck the shorts on, and you're sorted. And obviously you can mix and match, you can wear the shorts of any bikini really, um, and the top would look really nice with jeans or shorts also. So I really liked those two. Gosh, I actually forgot how much stuff I had, I'm actually getting very hot. Um, okay, next up I picked up this bodycon dress. Now, I got this in an extra small for £11. I thought it was gonna be quite like loose, it's actually very tight. Um, <laughs> To the point where I can only just about get it over my head. But once it's on, I feel like it's going to give a bit of stretch. Like, it will get there, basically. Um, so, as I say, it's just a long sleeve bodycon dress. I thought this would look so nice with heels or boots. And, yeah. There is a lot of stretch in it. I just feel like... I didn't want to go for, like, the next size up. Because then, it, you know, when it gets, like, a bit baggy and you have those kind of, like, creases. I thought, oh, I don't want that. So, I'm just hoping to stretch it out a little bit. Um, you could also wear this coming into autumn. Dare I say it. Um... So yeah, it's one to keep in the wardrobe. I then also picked up this square um, neck bodycon dress. Absolutely love this. Again, so tight. So <laughs> I got this in a size eight. Um, thinking, oh, it'll be really stretchy. It is quite snug. It fits like a glove, but I really, really like it. And I feel like with a pair of sandals or flip-flops, it will look cute. So this one was six pounds. Absolute bargain. If you're going on holiday, if you're traveling, if you're going to the beach, anything really they're just so easy to chuck on in the heat I could have really done with this in the um heat wave that we just had but it's just plain black again they've got it in a khaki color and a creamy color but this one I always go for black because it's never see-through so I really like that one and um yeah the square neck detail is quite nice with that okay I then picked up some more more like casual items so I got this little set so this is the is that the right way around yeah this is the top this set was £8. I got it in a size 10 to 12. Cute little mint green ribbed top. And then it comes with these little shorts with a little bit of detail there. So I just thought it was quite cute to chill around in. If I've got to run to the shop, I can chuck it on, chill around the house. And for £8, I thought it was so good. The Liverpool store actually had so many like pyjamas, loungewear sets. I was literally in my element. Um, <laughs> As you're going to see in a minute but I like the colour I thought it was really pretty they also had like a baby blue set similar to that not exactly the same um and I really really like that one too but I left that one behind um and went for the green okay I then picked up these little black shorts I really like these even just with a bikini top um hang on let me see how much they were they were 13 pounds and I got them in a size 10 they again had these in cream as well they've got like that lace up detail as you can see there I just feel like that will stay in the wardrobe year after year. It won't date. So that's why I got those. Um, they are quite a thick cotton material. But I feel like because it's shorts, so you're not going to get too hot. Okay, next up. This is a must have. So this is a little corset. As you can see here. Now, me and my best friend Nat actually got these matching. Nat saw it first. I copied. Um, she actually wore it out with a pair of jeans. It looked so nice. So I actually went down a size in this. I got this in a size 34B. I'm normally a 34C, but for some reason, um, the B actually fits nicer. So this was nine pounds, um, and I'm gonna take the 34C back. I literally love this, with a pair of flares or jeans. Oh, it's so nice. It's kind of got like a little bit of detail on the front, which I feel like makes it look more nighttime-y. So that is an absolute must-have. I don't know if they've got it in every store or if I'm really late to the party, but honestly, you won't regret that. I then picked up just some classic thongs. These were £5, but the reason I love them is because they've got the band at the side. I just feel like having them like pulled up quite high on the hip looks really flattering. So I got two packets of these. Two packets? Two lots of these, basically. Okay, next up, I actually picked up some matching PJs for me and mum. These on camera and in real life, from a distance, look like they're silky, but they're actually that really soft, stretchy, cottony material. So I got these, the top was £10. I got this in a size small. I just feel like they're going to be so cosy. Um, but they are quite thin, but like 
quite thin and like lightweight but um yeah not silky or anything and then i got the trousers in a size extra small for 10 pounds they have got a cuffed ankle just to let you know but from a distance they look really silky and quite expensive um it's only when you get up close and like that you realize that they're like soft and cottony so i really really like these they've also got them in blue but i got these matching for me and mum because mum's got them in blue and i know that she loves them um and actually quite a few people replied to my story asking if they were silky but no they're not silky pajamas just make me get really hot i don't know if i'm the only one but we haven't got time for that especially in this heat okay so next up i don't know if i'm missing something here you're probably going to tell me that i am but i went to the parenthood range um now I'm obviously not pregnant, but I'm a bit confused because I really like these, but I don't know why they're in the parenthood section. Maybe their tummy is like really, I don't know, but I just love these. So these are the pajama, this is a pajama top. I love my neutrals and I just feel like these look like white company, mango, Zara home kind of vibes. I don't know, but I really like these. So the top I got in a 10 to 12 for 10 pounds. It's again, not silky, but it's a really thin, lightweight material. And I just feel like, it's perfect for this time of year, like on holiday in the UK. I don't know, I really, really like these. Um, and then I got the shorts, but I don't know why they're in the parenthood range. So the shorts I got, they actually look like they're a different size. Oh no, they are 10 to 12 for eight pounds. These hangers drive me up the wall. Let me just take it off the hanger. There we go. So here are the shorts. They're quite small actually, aren't they? Like skimpy wise. Not sure if they're going to suit me, but I really, really like these. And again, you could even just wear that as like a night shirt if you really wanted to. So these were quite cute. I just don't know if the shorts are going to suit me. They look really like short at the front. We'll see. Okay, I then just picked up this jumper that says life is good. Thought it was quite easy to chuck on. A pair of leggings, a pair of shorts. I got this one in a size 14 to 16. I wanted it to be quite oversized. There's not actually a price on this. It's ripped off. So I can't tell you how much it is. Um... I think it was about six pounds, maybe eight. But yeah, I love the color. It feels like quite good quality. It's all fleecy on the inside. And again, you can't go wrong with a good little jumper. Okay, I don't actually know if I love these, but <laughs> I got roped in with the toweling material and um, yeah, I got them. So these are Mickey Mouse, um, I assume pajamas loungewear. This is the top, this was, okay, it was 18 pounds. Hmm. I need to try it on and see what I think, but £18, if I'm not the biggest fan, is probably not worth it. But I do think the colours are really cute. So that's the top. And then here are the shorts. It's a really cute, like, toweling material. Sometimes I like that material when you're just, like, getting out of the shower and you just want to chuck something on. By the way, they've got the bathrobes back in, you know, the, like, the towel material. Um, sorry, my phone just um, went off. Friends distracting me. Katie, I'm looking at you. Um... So yeah, basically that toweling, the toweling material, but like a bath robe that's got like a bit of Velcro, they've got them back in there. It took all of my temptation not to buy one because I'd already bought enough. Um, but yeah, 18 pound for that. And I do really like it, but I need to make sure that I love it before I decide if I'm keeping it. Okay, I then picked up some cute accessories. This bag is giving me Zara vibes. This was eight pounds. I've got a Zara bag like this that was a lot more in black. Um, so I got this one in nude because I thought it would look quite cute. I don't think it looks like it was eight pounds. Um, I'm getting better at having smaller bags, by the way. Okay, if you're a fan of the Prada Sunnies, um, but you don't want to pay the money, you need these Sunnies. They were three pounds. Here they are here. Oh, wrong side. Look at these, three pounds. So I actually got two pairs because I thought, <laughs> Knowing me, I'll end up like sitting on a pair or something. So I got two pairs of those, three pounds each. The detail on the back is so nice and very Prada. I then also picked up these sunnies. These ones were three pound also. Um, but I'm not sure if I love these. I might take these ones back. Um, I know they're only three pound, but if I'm not gonna wear them, it's pointless. And then would it really be a Primark haul if I didn't stock up on my favorite little bralettes? So I've got a white one again. They're three pound each, I think. Yeah, three pound. I've got a white one. I got a. By the way, I get these in a size small, ten to twelve. I've got a beige one, which also I've worn with this before. It looks quite nice. And then it also went a bit neon, and got a bright pink one, which also looks so nice with a bit of a tan. Um, so three pounds each. I've also just bought a black one, but I don't know. Doesn't appear to be in the bag. So 
yeah as you can tell i more than treated myself i haven't done a primark haul in the longest time i got very excited i wanted to show you guys um <laughs> so that's what i've done so yeah i don't need to step foot back in there until um autumn winter basically <laughs> i didn't actually even dare look at the home stuff because i thought that is really taking it to extremes um my two friends went to the like when we were in liverpool had a look at the home section and um they bought a few things so it's a bit of luck that i didn't go up there although i really really wanted to but i had to had to pull myself back so that is everything that i picked up i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> thank you if you stuck through it till the end i know it's been a long video um actually melting now gonna go and get myself some dinner but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna do a zara haul soon and then a boohoo haul so stay tuned for that and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss those so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video